QSAR. What is QSAR? QSAR is <clears throat> QSAR is quantitative structural activity relationship. Now, what is QSAR? The QSAR is a statistical model that relates a set of structural descriptors of a chemical compound to its biological activity. What are the variants in QSAR? The variants in QSAR are molecular structure and we need physiochemical or biological property. Then we determine the mathematical dependency between the molecular structure and physiochemical or biological property. And then we, we predict the toxicity or ecotoxicity that can be in the bulk form that is widely used or nanoparticle that is not adopted. The presence of particular characteristic increase the probability that the compound is toxic. Now, what do we need? QSR model. All chemical substances need to be tested in terms of their toxicological and environmental properties before they are used. Be otherwise, they will cause environmental pollution or toxicity in human beings, animals, and they will disturb the whole of the ecosystem. There are several reasons to use QSR model. The QSR model is used because the method is very fast. It is environmentally benign because it does not, not cause pollution. No waste are there. It is low cost procedure. It reduces the number of animals used in experiment. In that way, we kill less of the animals and the time is reduced. Earlier, it was that there was much time was used for doing this all this to develop a new drug for developing a new drug we have to first take the plant extracts then we test it by different methods then we prepare the medicines and then medicines were used on animals and it uh, it may be successful or may not be successful so it takes very long time this qsr method it is quantitative method that have reduced all this time uh, time, cost and everything. Now, this is of three type in vitro, in vivo. In vitro, it is done in a container and in vivo, it is done on the living organism like rabbits, rats and we predict the activity and then validate it. The one method is in silico. In silico method is in a, comp a computational method which we will determine by computational method it is alternative fast method it is alternative method for developing applications what is the benefit of this is reduction in the time cost and animal testing the most promising and it gives a quantitative structural activity relationship in vitro in vivo also the most important sources of information for qsr structural activity relationship now, purpose of QSAR. The purpose of QSAR is to predict biological activity and physiochemical properties by rational means. Second, to comprehend and rationalize the mechanism of action within a series of chemical. Third, saving in the cost of product development. Fourth, prediction could reduce the requirement for lengthy and expensive animal tests. Fifth, reduction of animal tests, thus reducing animal use and obviously pain and discomfort to animal. Last one, other areas of promoting green and greener chemistry to increase efficiency and eliminate waste. Now, requirements for QSAR. We need a set of molecules for which we have to do molecular modeling. Then, we calculate the descriptor. Descriptors may be physiochemical, biological, or structural. Then we uh, make a QSAR model, either by a neural network method, PLS method, expert system. Then we determine the toxicity. Toxicity is the endpoint. 
that is in the form of EC50, carcinogenicity, mutagenicity, red oral LD50, mouse inhalation LC50, skin sensitization, eye irritancy. How many compounds are required to develop a QSR? There is no direct and simpler answer. As many as possible compounds we can take in. To provide some guide, it is widely accepted that between 5 and 10 compounds at least are required for every descriptor in QSAR. Thank you.